Hi everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video and yes, it is Sunday so we're jumping into our 8th operator guide. Now in this operator guide we're going to be going over Mira. Mira was the clear winner of the last episode with 45 votes to her, 17 votes to Mozzie and 12 votes to Jackal. Voting was a little bit weird because my Mozzie comment didn't go through on the last one but you know, it's all good. Mira was a clear winner and that's who we're doing in today's video. So before we jump into this week's video, obviously we have to get next week's video out of the way. So next week's operators are going to be Capital, Doc and Mute. That's going to be these three operators and the way this works is you go down to the comment section below and there's going to be three comments from me. It's going to be either Doc, Capital, or Mute. You go and put a like down on whatever comment you want to see for next week's video and that's how you that's how we determine who wins. And other than that, that's that out of the way. So now we are set to jump into the mirror guide. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's dive into it. Now as always, we're going to start off with a weapon view, then we're going to go over the gadget utilization, and then we're going to jump into the operator strategies. So let's start off with the weapon review. Coming with the mirror's primary weapons, the first primary is the Vector .45 ACP. This gun comes in at 23 damage, but it makes up for that damage on a 1,200 rounds per minute fire rate. This gun's fire rate is definitely very strong, and its recoil pattern actually isn't that bad when you think about it. If you do happen to shoot it straight at a wall, it does actually just go up, and there is no really problems with the recoil. So this gun is definitely good, but obviously the further away you get, the harder the recoil is going to get to control, especially with the 1,200 rounds per minute size. And yeah, it's just to be difficult to control I definitely I definitely recommend using this at short range to make the most utilization out of it but all in all this gun is actually a pretty good gun it has 25 bullets in the mag but that goes pretty quickly judging by its fire rate but this gun can be used very effectively and I definitely recommend you use it as the primary choice over the shotgun and diving into the shotgun Mira's main primary shotgun is the ITA 12L this lightweight pump action 12 gauge is on 50 damage at a fire rate of obviously your choice to depending on your trigger finger coming in with 50 damage this thing is actually pretty good but it does have a little bit of like that pump action reload after you shoot a shot that is going to disadvantage you from shooting your second shot to get that kill this is definitely a useful gun, but when you think about it, with Mira having the secondary shotgun in her loadout, there's really no use for it in competitive use, unless you're just memeing. But I definitely recommend you bring the Vector, as long as you can focus on the recoil control and get that shit together. Now diving into her secondary, she has access to the USP pistol, which is on 48 damage a shot. It's actually a very powerful pistol, but the only problem is, the other secondary that Mira is accustomed to is a shotgun, and you definitely want to bring that, judging by Mira's capabilities with the mirrors, and you definitely want that shotgun to help you out with that. But this pistol is definitely very good and you can use it if you would like. And then obviously finally we have the ITA 12S. It is a much more smaller and compact version of the ITA 12L and it only has 5 bullets in the magazine but this does 70 damage a shot on obviously your fire rate. It's actually a little bit easier to shoot, it shoots a little bit faster and this gun is definitely useful to have to combat with your vector and it's definitely a great loadout that Mira has. And diving into a gadget, she has barbed wire and nitro cell. I definitely recommend you bring the nitro cell if you're going to be holding down the mirrors that you put down. Because there's certain situations like on bank if you're holding downstairs, that it, someone's going to try and put a plant down and you can't really see them. So a nitro cell could come really handy in that situation. And that's about all I have to say about the weapon. She has a great loadout, and let's jump into the gadget utilization. Now, as you guys probably all know, the, the mirror the mirror gadget is the black mirror. The black mirror is a one-sided mirror that you can put down on either wall, and it has a little gas canister that you can shoot out, that you can peek through, or you can just look through it and not be able to shoot through it and utilize this with a soft wall, which is what main high-skill mirror players do. She's a 3 armor 1 speed operator which pairs this up with the mirror ability which kind of makes her an anchoring operator and that is definitely how you should play her. But the black mirror is definitely a useful gadget and I'm going to teach you how to use it right. So there are definitely multiple situations with mirror that you can utilize to make sure you can effectively hold an objective better using these mirrors. Using mirrors should be, you should be watching an objective from an exterior room that's not objective on, depending on the map it really depends. But the mirror needs to be used as cover for you so you can peek two different angles and get the kills. And that leads into my next point is when you're using your black mirrors, try and keep them both together in the same room if you can so you can switch between them and hold two different angles at the same time or even use them as a double mirror. A prime example of a double mirror that can be useful is when you're on the aviator objective and you have it watching study. I definitely recommend that this can be useful but there is also an alternate option that you will put a mirror on the right wall of aviator and watch games as well which can be more efficient for watching multiple angles but that's 
that's just an example of a double mirror that can be effective watching that outside balcony. And definitely an example of mirrors split that you can use is the party and office objective of Outback. A mirror hold on this side is really good and if you do it right, which I'm going to show you in the clip behind me, you can definitely effectively hold this objective hard watching both entries from laundry room and from garage and it definitely is efficient as long as someone was watching shark stairs for you or you just have sound so you know if they're pushing. So these are definitely the two best ways you can utilize a mirror's gadget with either a split hold in one room or with a double mirror. And I definitely recommend you do use mirror because in certain objectives, mirror can be really useful. Another great example is if you're holding down downstairs Oregon. Mirror has just always been great for that objective. You can watch the front push from construction or you can watch the back push coming down main stairs. All in all, mirror's gadget is just really effective and there's not really much of a guide to it. I just Put them next to walls and then utilize them with soft walls. That's also a really important tip that I haven't mentioned yet. Try not to put them near reinforced walls. Like, don't double mirror as much. But double mirror is only good if you set up the double mirror. Like, if you put one mirror down on two reinforced walls, there's really no use for it. Because, obviously, that makes the really loud sound when you drop it down. And it's just going to screw you over and people are going to be waiting for you if you're peeking straight away. So, try and utilize soft walls as much as you can with mirror. And, along with that, utilize the double mirrors if it's effective in the location and utilize the multiple room holds and you'll be a great mirror player. Now diving into the operator strategies of mirror, there is really a, a straightforward answer. You should be anchoring with mirror. There is no second questions to this. She is not Doc or Rook. Doc and Rook are also three armors, but they have access to the ACOG. I still don't recommend roaming with Doc or Rook. It's really a stupid suggestion. But if you ca you can though, because they have the gun. Mirror Mira definitely has an anchoring weapon, and she has an anchoring player. And you should definitely stay on objective and use your mirrors. Don't just put them down and leave a teammate to it. Use your mirrors. Make use of your game. Gadget, don't let other people use it and try and just do your own thing with mirror on objective if you're going to play mirror you should be playing sight i don't really have any tips for any other play style with mirror that's just all i have to say play the objective with mirror it is a simple suggestion and you need to be doing it and if you utilize the tips I just gave you with the gadget utilization, it's definitely going to be a useful thing for you. And I'll show you some, I showed you some spots that you can use. And if you guys want more mirror locations, let me know down below. And if you guys want me to make a full video on mirror spots on multiple maps, let me know and I can do that. But other than the fact that you should be sitting your ass on site, that's the real operator strategy I have for Mira, and that's the only tip I can give you. And other than that, that's going to conclude this video. So I thank you guys all for watching the Mira guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to make this one a little bit shorter than the other ones I've been making because I've been rambling a lot. So I tried to make it more short and concise and pit fit more detail in. So make sure to go to the comment section down below and vote for either Capital, Doc, or Mute, and that's going to be who's going to be in the next video. So I hope you guys can go vote down below. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.